If you ever tried to create a hologram effect or this neat inspection effect, you needed to adjust something in 3D space. This plugin allows you to rotate an object in 3D space and even apply a depth of field effect. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I will place the clip I want to use on top of the other clip and then I apply the 3D orientation plugin. When you apply the plugin, you can see that all the controls are very straightforward and pretty much the same as the default in the inspector. However, there are three axes rather than two. As you can see here, you have your X, Y, and Z axis. Before adjusting the actual parameters, I want to show you one thing you need to be aware of. If you are rotating your clip around one axis, the original clip boundaries will remain the same. Rotating the clip around the x-axis reveals that nicely. You can compensate for this by using the scale slider or the z-axis. If you want to adjust the global scale of everything, you need to do this with the default transform tool. In other words, think of your viewer and the clip you just put on top of everything. Once you apply the 3D orientation plugin, this clip will now become a 3D space. You will have your x-axis, your y-axis and your z-axis. If you rotate your clip around one axis, just as we did before, around the x-axis, the original boundaries will remain because the actual clip now sticks out of the 3D space. Hence, these corners will be cut off. However, if you're using the C-axis offset, you need to keep in mind that you need to compensate for this with the focus offset of the depth of field effect, because you just move the entire clip further back in the room. Once you understand this, you can move the clip freely around and technically there is no limit to your creativity. Okay, once you get everything right and you positioned your clip, you can apply the depth of field effect by increasing the depth of field blur amount. But as you can see, my whole clip is being blurred. Why is that? because I adjusted the position and the Z offset. So this object is actually further away from the camera. That means I need to change the focus offset. If you hit the edge of the slider, you can just click on the number and drag it up so you can adjust it even further. As you can see, now the first letters are getting into focus. With the remaining sliders, I can adjust the near focus roll off, the far focus roll off. And if I want to have infinite focus, I can also check infinite focus. By default, Gaussian blur is applied. However, you can switch the filter to defocus and customize the bokeh even further. You can switch to polygon and enter a custom number to mimic aperture plates. If you're interested in my plugin, feel free to check it out. I linked it in the video description.